Can we say hi? Who's that? Paul. Paul. You do these circles. Circles. You pull cherry tree. Oh. You just do it change. Wow. You do it on a crazy. Oh. You on a crazy bottle. There's a Christmas tree back there? Oh. Hi everybody, my name is Missy. Welcome to my channel. And in this video, I am going to be going through my baby registry with this guy. So this is Paul, my 23, almost 24 in a couple days, month old toddler. We had him just before the global pandemic exploded. His due date was February 2nd or 6th, 2020. And I had him on January 24th, 2020. So this was kind of all 2019, and I am currently eight months pregnant with our second, which is due on March yeah, okay. 2nd, 2022. I still can't say 2022. We suspect they're coming mid-February. I don't actually have a baby registry with this guy because, or girl, we don't know the sex. We just have so much stuff from him. I really honestly don't need anything, which is a good thing, good problem to have. But I remember there were some things that I put in my registry that I didn't actually use. I will do a blog post at missyjwhite.com and I will list all of these. My registry was on Amazon, so I list all the Amazon links for everything that I'm talking about, the good and the bad. Starting off at the top, I put, it's so funny because this was like so long ago, I put on some books as well. These are not in any particular order. I put the little blue trucks, the little blue truck book. Paul has actually become obsessed with this book series, so I'm, I had that on the registry. I do, I do like this book. It's also a really cute book to give to toddlers as well. And now he since has like the Halloween one, there's a Valentine's Day one, a spring and a Christmas one. So this is a really cute book series for little kids, girls or boys. The next one I have is The Honest Company. It's a two piece gift set, I guess, in the lavender body lotion and body wash. Sorry, I'm pregnant. I keep burping. Um, the body wash and shampoo. The body wash and shampoo we love. I've been using that. Paul still uses it today. He was not a lotion kid. I never really had to use lotion on him. He just wasn't dry skinned. So I didn't need that. I still have the entire bottle. I intend to use it on myself at some point, but it is now that I think about it two years old. So I personally wouldn't recommend the lotion for a baby, but the shampoo worked out really, really well as well. The next one is one of my baby essentials. It's called a Sassy Tummy Time Floor Mirror. This was 12 bucks at the time on Amazon. It's this soft, squishy, baby safe mirror with like a little bee and a little ladybug on it. And it trifolds up. This was great for tummy time. It was in one of my baby's videos I did before, my favorite toys. I think it was like a five month old toy. Do they need it right when they're born? No, it's probably more for like two, three months plus when you start doing tummy time and they can look at themselves in the mirror. I love this toy and it was very inexpensive. I did have cloth diapering things on my checklist. I'm just going to skip right over those. I did do a video on cloth diapering. I did a couple of them. I'll link those below if you're interested. And I just talk about my favorite supplies. I might do a video updating everybody where Paul is at two years and I'll talk about cloth diapering and where we're at. So I'm just gonna skip all of those. The next one, love this thing. It is the Skip Hop Baby Activity Center. It is a little pricey. I have it on my list as $140. This is one of the toys that grows with you. I do like those. I'm not big on the electronic or plastic toys. I try to keep to, I personally like the wooden Montessori lovery type things. They do get kind of pricey. This one had a lot of ratings, over 6,000 five-star ratings. And you can set it so you can kaplunk baby in there. They can spin around. There's toys all around the outside of the table. And then you can modify it a couple different times. Paul is actually using it today as his little activity table downstairs. The floor piece comes up top. It's a table and they sell separately two little plastic chairs that you can use that's what he's using now. I'm probably gonna end up getting him another table because we'll use this Skip Hop Activity Center for this little baby. Hudson Baby Cotton Knee High Socks. I thought these were gonna be really cute to wear with just like 
a onesie where their legs are exposed so instead of pants having to pull them on and off it seemed like a lot of people like these knee-high baby socks or just like basically huge socks that go up to their thighs they have a lot of really good ratings there were $13 for eight of them I didn't like them they actually didn't fit Paul's little chubby legs so he never used them the next one is Infantino Little Nibble Teethers Carrot. This thing is five bucks. I love this teether. It's just a little silicone thing. It looks like a carrot. It, it's usually really popular around Easter for babies because it's a cute little Easter basket thing. It has 25,000 reviews. Like I said, it's five bucks and it has little handles on it that's easy for them to hold. They can gum and chew the whole thing. I have these. I hope it's still in here these little ring sets that you could clip to so you can clip it to different things. So highly recommend that one. This is a book. It is Baby Led Feeding a Natural Way to Raise Your Kids by Jenna Helwig. Love this book. We didn't start baby led weaning until six, seven months old. So it's not really something you need right away if you're trying to get things for, you know, months down the road. It's a great add on to a registry in my opinion. If you decide to do the baby led weaning method. Hey, Bubby. And then to kind of go with that. Hi. We're talking about you. Yeah. Who's that? Can you say hi? Pa. It's Pa. Hi. And then I guess these were kind of to go with that. So I got the Avanchi bamboo plate set. It has three little sections and a little silicone spoon and it suction cups to things. We did use this for a while to suction cup to the table or his high chair. It worked out really, really well. You do have to hand wash it. They have a couple different options. They have a bowl, which we actually ended up getting later on. And oh, they have right. a plate, yeah. which we can. He's got baby. his blippy toy, so it's probably gonna, you're going to hear blippy in a second. Um, those got about 2,300 reviews. They were not cheap. They are about yeah, 20 bucks. Yeah, blippy shoe. Yeah, blippy. Look at this. Look at this. Next on my list is Hudson Baby Unisex Silicone Bibs. Love these things. I got two of them. There's a fox and a gray one. 4,000 reviews. Set of two, $11. They wash really easy. You can fit them in the dishwasher if you can fit them in there. And what I ended up doing is I had the IKEA high chair. Not on my list. Love it. It was like 20 bucks. We used that till he didn't want to be in a high chair anymore. I just put a 3M hook on the back of the high chair and hung these guys up there. That's where we store them. So not on my list, but my mom was the Graco Modes Travel System. I'll link here. It's from Bye Bye Baby. I'm sure they don't have this exact same model because they change the models of these things like every six months, I swear. But it was a collapsible stroller with an infant seat and it had a bassinet which morphed into a toddler seat. So on our registry, we added, since we got the Graco, a Graco Snug Ride Click and Connect Extra Seat Base. So this went in Matt's car so that we could then put the baby, the travel system did come with one base. So that went in my car and then we got an extra one for Matt's car. So that's something to think about if you have multiple vehicles, whatever travel, whatever car system, car seat you decide to use, putting even stuff like bases in your registry and having some friend or family get that for you is kind of nice. This is a cool one. 3,000 reviews. It was $19. I still use it today. It's the turtle meter, the baby floating turtle. This is a little device that you put in the bath and it, it changes color to either red, the water's too hot, green, the water's perfect, or blue, the water's too cold. Like I said, we still use that today when we take baths every day. The Skip Hop Pronto Changing Pad. This was $30, 3,000 reviews. So it does contain a changing pad. And then there's like a little, and there's a little organizing caddy thing that comes with it. We don't actually use that. We just use the changing pad. And I shoved it in our diaper bag, which is actually an upcycled, just Eddie Bauer book bag. We decided not to use a traditional over the shoulder diaper bag. I just use something I already had. So I do use the changing pad. Would I spend $30 on just a changing pad? No. So I personally don't think that was worth it. The Munchkin Bricka Out and About Collapsible Trunk thing. So this was $40. I don't know if I'd spend $40 on it again, but it is helpful. It stands up and we put a lot of his, we, I keep in a yeah. Ziploc bag, an extra pair of current clothes, some, yeah, yeah, fine. some disposable diapers and wipes. 
and when we had to change them in the back of the car that helped out sometimes we could even cheat if we were just running into town we didn't bring the diaper bag with us because we knew we had that little caddy in the back of the car it's a nice thing to have if we didn't have it i really wouldn't care munchkin wipe warmer so these are controversial some people love them some people hate them we personally love them we do use disposable wipes for like travel and whatnot but at home we use cloth wipes we use them all over the house i have some dry ones downstairs i need to wipe his face off they go with the cloth diapers and i just keep them in the cloth wipe warmer with some water so we do use it i recommend it i like it this particular one is 30 bucks and has 25,000 reviews. The next one is Closet Dividers Baby Nursery Rack. It basically is these little plastic things that divide your clothes by your clothes your clothes by size in your closet. It was $2,000 2000 it had 2,000 reviews and 7 bucks. I personally they didn't really fit the wooden dowel in our closet very well, so I personally don't think they're worth it and you could just be organized and put the clothes, you know, so you know what size they are. I probably wouldn't get it again. I have them and I don't think I'm gonna use them for the next baby. I did put in here a crib. We bought our own crib. We bought it from Wayfair, but I did need a mattress. There are so many different mattresses out there that you can do your research on. There's green ones, there's ones that are breathable. I kind of just did mine based on cost and ratings. So I just went with a basic Graco premium foam crib and toddler mat. It was 90 bucks and it had 35,000 reviews. We liked it. We had absolutely no problem with it. I know those are controversial. A lot of people are very, very picky about what mattress they use in their cribs, but that's what we got. The Luso Gear Car Seat Protector for Baby Carrier. This goes in your car to protect it. This had 20,000 reviews and it was only 25 bucks. We used it and we had our doula who's certified to put car seats in in the state of Virginia and she did not recommend them. She said it messed with the ability of the seat to go in. So we actually did not use it at all. I don't know what happened to it. So if I had to go back, I would not put that on my list. But I will leave that up to you. Hudson Baby Unisex Muslin Swaddles. This is 6,000 reviews, 20 bucks. This was kind of a woodland theme, which was is Paul's theme love the muslin swaddles they are so nice there are this big piece of very light fabric we did swaddle paul matt was so much better at it than i was but we like to use the big muslin cloths because they just you had more room to groove and paul was a little bit of a bigger baby we also use them as nursing covers we covered the car seat there's no elastic so it doesn't like cinch over it's just a piece a huge piece of fabric we use them as baby blankets so i highly recommend them they come in all different brands, colors, prints. This one, I don't think was organic. I'm sure they have organic cotton ones. Love those. So I would wholly, totally get that again. The next one, the Hatch Baby Rest Sound Machine and Nightlight. This has 26,000 reviews and is 60 bucks. Love this thing, still use it today. It's out of shot, but it's over here. And Paul even knows at nap time, we turn it on It's part of our routine. He's going to keep his own and we're going to put one, get a second one for the new baby's room because we liked it that much. There are a couple of new models out that we were looking at. One of them actually has like a time at the bottom. So I don't know if we're going to be getting a different model or the same one as this one. Love this thing for a sound machine. Totally recommend if the sound machine route is something you're going towards. Muslin Burp Cloths. This is a four pack for $9, 17,000 reviews. We loved these burp cloths. They are just kind of like rippled and just absorb a lot. They're not fancy. They don't have patterns. I love these things. I think I ended up getting another pack of them and we use them more than the pretty just like terry cloth backed burp cloths if you know what I mean. They were okay but I, I always took the Muslim ones. I just like them. They just held so much better. Then there's the Luso Gear Baby Backseat Mirror for your car. This was 4,000 reviews, 20 bucks ish. Love this thing, we used it. You put it on your car seat in the back seat and then you can see through your rear view mirror baby. So that's what we used for this little guy. He has since flipped to front facing. It's still there, but obviously we can't see him, but we're going to just use that same one for new baby. So here's some toys. This is the s and Inc. Baby Crinkle Square Sensory. They are a two pack. They are $7, 3,000 re reviews love these things they are very high contrast colors which research shows that babies can see very well one of them is primary colors the other is black and white and they're very crinkly when you touch them as soon as paul was able to kind of you know move around a little bit maybe like 
month, six weeks, something like that. He liked to crinkle these. We used to just put them on him and let him play with them. Love them. I have to dig those up, wash them, and we're gonna use them again for baby number two. The next one is the Baby Einstein Take Along Tunes musical toy. This has 41,000 reviews and it's only $9. It looks like, I guess, like a little phone and it has a handle with beads on it. We used to bring this with us in the car all the time. It would entertain him. He liked it. He looked at the lights. Like I said, we mostly do Montessori, but we did have a few little electronic things here or there. That was one of my faves. Just to talk about some books, some classic books, we read to Paul pretty early on every night. We tried to establish a night routine, which include reading. We still read now between naps and bedtime. And two books that I have here are The Very Hungry Caterpillar. He still loves that one. And Where's Spot also loves that one. Those are two very highly really rated board books that we got for him. Next one was Peter Rabbit Book and Toy. I remember putting this on my list thinking that this is really sweet because I loved Peter Rabbit. This has 500 reviews. It's $10. It comes with a very small, I just saw it before, little stuffed animal. Paul was just meh about it. And the book will be nicer when he gets older. It's actually not a board book. It's paperback and it's there's a lot of words in it to it. Like it's a little still too old for him right now as two years, but maybe like three or four years he'll like that. So it's a cute idea, but I probably wouldn't have put it on my registry moving forward. Boba Wrap Baby Carrier, 18,000 reviews, 45 bucks. Love this thing. It's cotton, it's stretchy. There's so many different types of baby wraps out there now. This was my preferred one. The only thing I didn't like about it is it would get a little warm and snug, but I did have two of them and I baby wrapped almost like every day. That's how I carried Paul. He slept for like the first month or two. It really helps my postpartum skin to skin. I never really laid him down for a nap. He just slept on me, kind of did that. When we traveled, we went to stores or whatever, I would put the boba wrap on, get in the car, and then just pop him in it in the parking lot. I got really good at it. So I would personally recommend maybe one or even two of these, especially if baby spits up, then you have a second one. Bird's Bees Cable Knit Blanket, 600 views, $30. Really sweet and cute. We didn't really use it all that much. Paul still has it in his little blanket thing. He doesn't really pick it up to use it. So I personally don't think it was worth it. This is more for mom. The Haka Silicone Breastfeeding Manual Breast Pump. 15,000 reviews, 12 bucks. And yes, you should put stuff on your registry for mom, in my personal opinion. It's not all about baby. You need the help with the postpartum. There's lots of stuff you need. If you're going to be breastfeeding, the Haka silicone pump is very nice. It's not really a pump. It's just the silicone thing that suction cups on. I used it in the beginning on the opposite breast. So if I was feeding on the left, I'd put it on the right. I know some women use it to actually uh, express milk at certain times. It's just a really cool tool. It's not very cheap or it's not very expensive. I actually end up getting two of them. So. <laughs> That would be, I would definitely have my registry again. I'm not gonna buy any more because I still have those too. I had on here happy. infant diapers. I'm going so cool. to let you pick the brand yeah, you want. I, I had a couple it. brands that I used. Yeah, I Luckily, I never had an issue with one of them not working. I've heard that some babies just don't do well in certain diapers. But even though we cloth oh, diaper that first month, especially with their poop, and they have like really weird sticky poop. But the advice that I had gotten and loved was just to use, give yourself some grace and just use disposable diapers. That is what we plan on doing for this baby. I actually now prefer Hello Bello diapers. I have a subscription for him. Yes, he's in cloth diapers, but we do get some disposables for nighttime still. That's just part of our routine. And then I get regulars for if we go out and about or we have family over or whatever. So I did already get a box of newborn diapers from Hello Bello. That's at the house, ready to go. Hudson Baby unisex cotton gowns. One of my girlfriends swore by these things and they do have a lot of reviews, almost 10,000 reviews. This is a three pack, they're $16. I hated these things. I actually just did not like putting things over Paul's head when he was newborn and so like little squishy. I actually like to put him in just zip up onesies, not zip up onesies, zip up PJs, I guess, with little footies on them. Especially since he was a winter baby, I could plunk him in there. And Matt's aunt had actually gotten us onesies that were kimono style. So they would open up, you'd put baby in the onesie, and then they kind of just like flopped over. And I think they snapped. So you didn't actually have to put anything over their head. So I did not like the gowns. I know a lot of women do because it gives you easy access to their diapers. Paul was also a large baby. So he didn't really fit in them very well. Like a lot of his feet stuck out. So 
I, I wouldn't put that in my registry again. Diaper pails. There are like two camps here. It's either the Ubi diaper pail or the diaper genie. We did our research and we decided to go with the Ubi diaper pail. Still have it, still love it. It's metal. It doesn't smell in the room. There's a lock on it so you can't get in it. They do sell diapers, diapers. They do sell bags specifically for the Ubi diaper can. I've never bought them. I've literally always bought just the, I think it's a four gallon trash bag and I get the one now that's like scented even though I don't like scented stuff but it, it does stink when you open it but when it's closed it doesn't smell it never smells there's currently like three poopy diapers in there and I'm sitting literally a foot and a half from it and don't smell anything so I love the Ubi Steel one it has 14,000 yeah. reviews it's about $63 it is a little pricey yeah. but I personally think it's worth it yeah. not buying another one all the diaper stuff's mm. just going to go in the new baby's room and we're just going to yeah. share Burt's Bees Baby Hooded Towel. I will warn you, I am obsessed with Burt's Bees Baby stuff, so a lot of my stuff wow. is Burt's Bees. Hey. This was 6,000 wow. reviews, Yay. nine bucks. We did use it with him in the beginning. Yay. Instead of just using our towels, it's really Yay. soft, it's thin. We'd give him a bath, lay him in that, snuggle him, and then take him into Yay. his room and get him dressed. So it was sweet, it wasn't that expensive. I probably would put it in my list again. If you're trying to get baby stuff for a you know, way down the line, six months or so. This obviously we didn't use as a newborn, but we did use for baby led weaning. Love them, still use them today. The Munchkin Miracle 360 Training Cup. This is a two pack, 48,000 reviews, $11 on Amazon. And they are a cup that they can just start learning to drink from a cup all around the side. It's basically just a silicone lid that snaps there. I'm not gonna do a good job at explaining it, but it's a sippy cup, basically. Burt's Bees Ultra Gentle Lotion, 200 reviews, 11 bucks. Didn't, like I said, Paul wasn't really a lotion kid. I ended up using that lotion, so I probably wouldn't have put it in my list knowing what I know now. Is the second baby gonna use lotion? Yeah. I have no idea, so we shall see. I Proven Thermometer for Adults yeah. Forehead. This had 15,000 reviews, was $30. Yeah. Well worth it in my opinion. It is a thermo temperature thermometer that you just put on their head so you can see their temperature. We still use it with Paul today. I see that, thank you. Oh my gosh. Here are some more books that we had in our registry. I'll just list them really quickly. Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? We love that book. Who, Peekaboo Flat Board Book. Paul never really liked that one. Here's another book, Babies in the Forest, Chunky Lift a Flap Book. It was okay. I don't know why I put so many books in my registry, but I did. Yeah. Hudson Baby Cotton Bibs. Paul luckily was not really a drooly baby. He didn't really spit up that much, so we didn't really use them that much for him. I have no idea if we're gonna use them for this baby. We still have them. I think they're a good thing if I had a baby registry to still put them on there. When he got to the feeding part, we pretty much just went to those silicone Whoa, ones because they were right. a lot better for food. But these were just to kind of match his theme of woodland they were $13 for, it looks like five of them, and they had 6,800 reviews. Katie, 100% organic jersey fitted crib sheets. This is a two pack. They're currently unavailable, but I'll see if they have, a, maybe just that one print is unavailable. We use them, love them, had no issues with them. So crib sheets are an, a nice thing to put on your list. I did the system of one sheet, and then later I bought, I think it was from Gerber, a waterproof kind of just like flat sheet kind of thing and then we put another sheet set on top when he was sleeping in the crib so if he had a spit up accident or whatever in the middle of the night you can rip that sheet off there's already a clean sheet underneath and you can you know go on with your life so i probably would put four sheets on there this was a two pack i think i bought two more later on i'm looking at it right now it has dinosaurs on it and this one was woodland themed. So crib sheets are an awesome thing to have on your registry. This was Giz Movine 10 piece baby toy rattle set, 81 reviews, 20 bucks. It was a bunch of these really inexpensive plastic rattly toys. They came in a case. They just weren't for us. Paul honestly never played with them. So I probably would not put that in my registry again. Love these things. <laughs> Lovable friends, unisex baby cozy fleece booties, 300 reviews. 13 bucks. I use those all the time, especially if we were going outside on walks. He actually uses them today in a larger size as slippers. Love these things. We've bought them pretty much every stage of his growth the last two years. J&J &J Cold Cart 
Cole Car Seat Cover Teal. 6,000 reviews. I didn't realize this thing was $115, but one of my gracious friends did get this for me, for Paul. It had its place if we were going somewhere with Paul and it was very, very cold, but we really did not use it all that often. It didn't have a great fit to our baby carrier, so I probably would say not worth it. Burt's Bees okay. Baby Shampoo and Wash. Okay. This was about 15 bucks. I did like this one. I didn't have really a preference on baby washes. I just tried to keep the ingredients to a minimum of, you know, I didn't go with the mainstream ones. You, know, you just pick whichever ones you want, but it's, I'll put a couple in there because you do go through baby wash quite frequently. And for the beginning, water wipes. So I put a case of water wipes. These are 13,000 reviews, 13 bucks. I don't think it was actually a case. I think there's like four of them in there. Water wipes are great. It's 99.9% .9 water. There's no chemicals, perfumes, anything in it. And they're great for newborns who have that super sensitive skin. I did get wipes with the Hello Bello and I do need to check what they are. Okay, so these are, they're right behind me. These are the Hello Bello kind and they are 99% water. So I'm just gonna use these with my newborn. I'm not gonna get the water wipes, but if you didn't have a subscription to Hello Bello or I believe they sell everything at Walmart too, then I recommend the water wipes. We used those for almost a year before we got Hello Bello diapers and love them. Burt's Bees Baby Knit Terry Changing Mat, 4,000 reviews. It was about $13. Yeah, 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 too hot. Let me get it. It's too hard. Okay. Don't worry. This lotion is like petroleum jelly. He can't get it out. I think. Anyway, uh, this one was not my favorite. It was not hard to put on, but it wasn't the easiest to put on. So I didn't really care for it. We have two other inexpensive changing pad covers that I ended up using, still use today, and like those a lot better. So I just put this one away. Zando Baby Kids Cotton Knit Beanie Hats. These are currently unavailable. I'll see if they have anything close to. We use these every once in a while, but any beanie that will fit a little baby's head is nice. You know, they do, especially if you have a winter baby like me living in Virginia, it gets cold and we still went for walks as soon as I was clear to go for walks. So I did put little hats on his head. Hudson Baby Unisex Long Sleeve Onesies. These were 40,000 reviews, $18 for a set of five. They were okay. They were very thick. Like I said, I had this thing about putting clothes over the baby's head, so I didn't put him in too many of those types of clothes. I did end up switching almost all of his onesies from like birth to whenever he stopped wearing onesies, 18 months maybe to Burt's Bees. I loved Burt's Bees. They were soft. They were so easy to go on. Some of the onesies can get like almost like stiff, if that makes any sense. And they're like, they don't stretch. They're hard to get on. He also had a massive head. So I wouldn't, I mean, you do need clothes, but knowing now that I like Burt's Bees, I wouldn't have recommended this brand, but I would recommend long sleeve and short sleeve onesies for sure. I have more gowns on here, which is a shame because I didn't use them. I do have a lot of postpartum stuff on here. I'm going to do a video on postpartum. I already did one, but I'm going to do another one. But it was just on here because I just love this product so much. It's the Freedom Mom Upside Down Perry Bottle. This is $15. It's got 18,000 reviews. So if you don't have a C-section, have a vaginal birth, you can't use toilet paper. So use this Perry Bottle. The one they give you at the hospital is usually just a straight straw. The one from Freedom Mom actually bends, so instead of putting the whole bottle in the toilet and squeezing up, you just put that and kind of shoot it up there. That makes sense. Love this thing. Would totally get this for new moms. You can even have more than one. It's nice to have them in multiple bathrooms if your house or living situation has multiple bathrooms in different levels. It's nice to have those. Burt's Bees Diaper Cream is what I put on my list. 3,000 reviews, $10. We like this one, and we also like the one by Honest. They have a diaper cream. I tried not to use too much diaper cream on him. I never used it as a preventative. I know some moms do that. Mostly because at that time we switched to cloth diapers and none of those were cloth diaper friendly, or at least I didn't want to use them on cloth diapers. So if his diaper rash was really bad, we would slather him in either Burt's Bees or the Honest diaper cream and put a disposable diaper on him. This is unavailable, but it's the Summer Complete Nursery Care Kit. It had all sorts of things for baby. I'll list a picture here if it let me show it. 11,000 reviews. I don't think it was that expensive, $20. I personally wouldn't recommend it again. I don't use anything except for the nail clippers. I'll be honest. Blooming Baby Lotus Baby Bath Set. This was $40, 11,000 reviews. You take this thing and you put it in any kind of sink and you can lay baby in it. 
I thought this was a great idea. If the pandemic hadn't happened and we did a lot of traveling, it might have been an awesome idea. We ended up not really using it that often. So I don't know if we donated it yet or we might have. We ended up getting and loving the Skip Hop baby bath. It kind of is a grow with you as well. It's got this little net that holds baby and it has two other positions. Oh, I thought he fell. <laughs> he threw a dog toy. <laughs> He's okay. So I wouldn't get that again. The My Baby Sound Spa on the go portable white noise machine. 12,000 reviews, 17 bucks. Inexpensive. It clips on. It's a sound machine. Again, if pandemic hadn't happened and we traveled more, maybe we'd use it. We honestly never used it. We used the hatch for everything. He pretty much just stayed. His sleeping area was where the hatch was. So I wouldn't have put it on my registry today. The diaper bag organizing pouches by Mother Load, I'm assuming. Only 300 reviews, $42. There's four pouches in here. I do still use these today. One of them, the zipper broke. Would I put a $40 thing with four little pouches in it on my list again? Probably not. I'd look for a cheaper option, but it is nice to stay organized. I have one of these, actually I think there's five. There's five pouches. I have one with the diapers and the diaper wipes in it. I have another one for clean clothes. There's one for dirty clothes and one for toys but I actually use it for snacks for baby and me now so that's what I use as little things to try to keep my diaper bag organized. I'm sure there is a less expensive route than this one. The Skip Hop Bandana Buddy Baby Activity Thing. Thing. I don't know it cut it off. This is 2,000 reviews, 15 bucks. This thing is awesome. I love this thing. It clips onto things. It's got little doodads that make noise and they're crinkly. Paul loved this one. He loved it so much we actually got I think there was a fox too that we got. So I recommend that one. The Douglas Baby Fox Snuggler Plush Stuffed Animal Little Blanket Thing. 900 reviews, $16, $16. We didn't really use this thing. It was more just a cute thing to put in his nursery to make it look nice on like Instagram, but then we never used it, so I wouldn't put it on my list again. The Barrington Baby Little Stuffed Owl Plush Toy. 300 reviews, 10 bucks. I think I was just trying to find woodland themed things. Again, Paul never really used rattles. He could care less about this toy. Maybe the next baby will, I don't know. So was it worth it? No. These are Fisher Price Rattle and Rock Maracas. $8, 66,000 reviews. You get two of them. They're soft and squishy and they have a rattle on the other side. Paul loved to grab these and shake them. Once he started grabbing things, you know, maybe not right in the beginning, but they're something for them to look at. They were great for tummy time. Inexpensive, love these things. Oh, the swaddles. We tried everything with Paul. So Halo 100% cotton sleep sack swaddle, three way, 25 bucks, 3000 reviews. I tried it with him a bunch of times. It just didn't work. It could have just been Paul, but it was nice that I had it to try it. So I guess I'd recommend it. I didn't get rid of it. I'm probably going to try it with this baby too, because swaddling seemed to work with our kids. It was just a matter of trying to get them swaddled. I was not good at it. So I tried these products that didn't involve just the Muslim. Matt could just swaddle him with a Muslim thing and he would be totally content for hours. It's not fair. Cherry Now Bear Basket Cotton Rope Basket, 20 bucks, 1400 reviews. It's a cute little thing. I have it over here in the corner. It holds Paul's blankets and so we're still using it today. Summer Infant Contour Changing Pad, 31,000 reviews. We have a, what is this thing called? A dresser with a changing top. This is from Target. And this fit perfectly on top. We still use it today. It has a nice cleanable surface. We did put the, yeah. the changing covers on top of that. And then on top of that, we used, I don't know if this is on my list or not. I'm probably going to get some more of these. So I think we just wore them out. These are by Munchkin. And they're these little like pads like this. So I do the, the liner and then I just put this because it was easier just to rip these off and put a new one than constantly keep changing that liner because it's like a fitted sheet on a bed. Newborn Baby Swaddle Blanket Sweater, 11,000 reviews, $26. This looked super cute when he was wearing it. I hardly ever used it. So personally, I would just say it's not worth it. My Life as a Baby First Year Calendar. I thought this was going to be so cute. 1,500 reviews, $11. I didn't actually end up using it, so I would not recommend that either. Baby Nasal Aspirator Nose Frida Suction Thing. This is crazy. 22,000 reviews, $19. It is a suction cup with a straw and a tube and you put the little tube in the baby's nose and you suck out their boogers. Do they go in your mouth? No. The tube is long enough so you're not getting boogers in your mouth. The concept kind of grosses some parents out but it works really really well. Paul's a pandemic baby. He's hardly ever been sick. 
we actually have not used it, but I would probably use it now if he gets a cold. He gets very mucusy nowadays. He just had a cold like a month or so ago and honestly forgot we even had it, but I could have used it then. So I would recommend that. That's It's funny. It's great to open at a baby shower. People laugh at it for some reason, but I highly recommend that. Oh, this is exactly what I was talking about. The Munchkin Waterproof Changing Pet Liners. It's a three pack, 10 bucks, 15,000 reviews. So you put your fitted sheet on your baby changing table and then you put these on. They're nicer to just grab and chuck in the wash than having to replace that whole thing if you get poop or pee on you know, your liners. Oh my God, I'm at the bottom. Okay, so that is everything that was on my list. I bought a lot of stuff myself. And of course there was things that people bought me that were not on my list. Like I said, I'm trying to think of other big things. The Graco Pack and Play was a must for us. There's so many different options, so many different products. We just went with the classic Graco and we got the one, I know they've changed it a bazillion times. It has a little rocker seat in it and a changing table. They were okay. We used the changing table for like two seconds, to be honest. But what I liked most about it was it had a, a way that you could lift, like there was a, a second layer, not of the mattress that you could put yeah. the infant. So they're like right there. You don't have to bend all the way down. That's the only feature that I really liked about the pack and play. If I can find the model that we got a listed here, I'm sure it's not even available anymore. Cause like I said, they update those models constantly for safety regulations for good reason. So this is the kind of model that we have currently. We're going to use it for baby number two. That stays in my room and um, baby stays in there for just a little bit until I feel like putting them in the nursery. The crib we bought ourselves, the changing table we bought ourselves. That was a lot of stuff. Like I said, everything will be linked in a blog post below if you're interested in anything. And yeah. <laughs> I hope you found this helpful. Yeah. If you like videos like this, give this a thumbs up. If you're new, I'd love it if you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. You wanna say bye? Say bye, thanks for watching. <laughs> mm. Lately I have had trouble sleeping So I stay up late at night in a room lit by the TV light All